Hey, this is Ross from ProTech Epoxy Floors, Newport Ritchie, Florida. Today we are down on Marlin Drive again. This is the third job that we started down here on Marlin Drive. It's all been word of mouth. It's probably within the last six weeks or so. So we definitely appreciate people's referrals. So this job's got a couple things going on. Uh, first thing we're going to do is, customer just finished removing the baseboard. What we're going to do is along this wall, we're going to build a cove before we put the baseboard in so that we can fill up these gaps. So that's general condition of all the baseboards. So as you can see, we've got some chunky stuff to work with here. And here. And then we have the condition of the floor itself. So there's a previous coating or two or three maybe on this floor. But really the concerns with this floor is all this small like so there's quite a bit going on here and I know once we get this ground be a couple of few surprises. So right now we have our grinder set up with PCDs. These are the tools that scrape off the coating and put a little grind on it and then we're going to come back and then we'll grind it final, smooth everything out. And as you can see, we'll be busy here. So this is the beginning of the removal process. So right now we have uh, PCDs which are used for coating removals and that's what we started here. And uh, as you can see what we have to do is we have to take uh, small bites a little at a time because of the condition of the floor because it's not flat. So now in this segment here you can see where we started to make some progress and so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go back over with the hand grinder and pick up all those valleys, etc., that we couldn't get with the floor grinder. Now, in this next section, what we're going to do here is we're going to put the final diamond grinding profile on the floor before epoxy. Okay, so we got our grindings done. So we did a pretty major grind to get all that stuff off. There's probably about three different coatings on the floor. And uh, as you can see from the segment before this, that uh, a little bit of work went into that. So anyway, we got our baseboards in and primed. We got our coves along these walls. We're all ready to throw chips. And get our edges in. So you can see we got our chips all set up. You can see we're going to go all, all along here with the baseboard. You can see we filled in all those voids. And once we get epoxy on chips in here, you'll never know they were there. So we got a primer on, like I said. And what we're going to do down here is just a little bit different. We're going to go with a baseboard all the way up here. and follow the height of this bridge that this uh, hot water heater sits on. So, we made some progress. And we did some pretty uh, major repairs to the edge here. You probably saw in the first video how chunky that was. It's looking pretty good now. So this is the first step in the getting the epoxy onto the floor. Here I'm pulling out small ribbons and getting the first distribution of epoxy. So this will sit on the floor for a minute or two before I start to rake it out. So now here I'm going to use a gauge rake and going to further distribute the epoxy. This is really where the epoxy begins to get even and what it does is it starts to fill smaller cracks, etc. So
So rolling is the final distribution of the epoxy when we get it as flat and even as possible before we actually start to broadcast chips. Now comes the fun part where we begin to feed the chickens. We inundate the epoxy with about three times the final amount needed to ensure full coverage. And what we do then before we top coat the job is we scrape and then we recover the chips as well. Okay, here we are. We're all finished up. Just finished top coating. Little details done, and then here's the existing cabinet. We built it in with the baseboard. Now along this wall and this wall, we built in a cove into the baseboard. These are the voids that we filled earlier. Built that back up with epoxy, filled the voids. We did put the trim in up all the way underneath the water heater to, I, I think it blends a lot better in that way. Baseboards throughout. Also along that wall, we did coves. So this is a full chip job. Written lifetime warranty. This color is saddle tan. Job looks great. Thanks for watching. Pro-Tech Epoxy Floors, New Port Ritchie, Florida. We professionally install beauty and durability. Pro-Tech serves both residential and commercial customers in Pasco, Hernando, Hillsborough and Pinellas counties. Please call or text 727-916-2314 to discuss your project. We look forward to being of service. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, or subscribe.